Just as we need to close, it redefines the relationship between you and your mentee at the end of your mentoring commitment. The relationship between you and your organization will also need to be either closed or redefined. Here is the set of procedures a mentoring program usually follows at this stage. Final evaluation and report. Whether you decide to continue mentoring with the organization or will be taking a break, an evaluation should be done to close the current mentoring case. Your caseworker also needs to write a report based on the findings of their evaluations. The procedure looks like an exit interview with your caseworker sitting down with you to go through a set of questions. Very likely, they have also done the same with your mentee and the mentee's parents. The evaluation will not just focus on your work as a mentor, but also the whole process of mentoring and the support you received or did not receive. It is always helpful to look at the stats you collected in the process of your mentoring work. Now your diligent record-keeping work pays off. You are able to demonstrate the engagement level by adding together all the time you invested in the youth, in the meetings you conducted with your mentee and the supportive adults, and in the problems that you helped her to resolve. Of course, an evaluation is not only about what worked, but also what did not work and why. You might have communicated with your caseworker about the challenges facing you in previous check-in conversations. Now it's time to reflect and think aloud what could have been done by you or your organization differently to lead to a better outcome. Even if you decide to quit your mentoring role, it would be helpful for the organization and other mentors to learn from your experiences, good and bad. Once the evaluation is complete, the caseworker should give you feedback on your mentoring performance. Take pride in your achievements and be receptive to constructive feedback. If you don't agree with the comments that the caseworker made, you can always ask to talk to the manager to get things clarified. It is important to acknowledge that no one is perfect and there's always room for improvement. Discontinuing or taking a break. Sometimes it is the organization's decision to discontinue a relationship with a mentor. But if you as mentor want or need to take a break, you should know that depending on how long the break is, your criminal background check may need to be renewed when you want to restart mentoring and you may be asked to undergo more training to refresh your knowledge. When you leave, you should return all equipment that you signed out and submit your reimbursement forms for any money owed to you to the organization's finance department or your casework, depending on what the structure actually is. We hope you will agree to stay in touch with the organization by subscribing to their newsletters, following their social media accounts, and coming back to their annual general meetings and other celebrations. Some of you may decide to volunteer in other roles for the organization or apply to become a staff member. From time to time, we at CouchLink receive surprise visits from mentors and mentees from a long time back. Nothing could be more rewarding than seeing the youth we helped years ago return as confident adults. Your organization will be delighted if you decide to continue with them. If you have done a stellar job with your mentees, you, you may be asked to mentor new mentors. Now that you are a veteran, you may be engaged in other programming activities to help the organization grow. Guaranteed, you will be assigned a new mentee and sometimes even a new caseworker. We start fresh again and start rewriting yet another vulnerable youth story. Music